piston ring removal and installation by hand and with a ring expander. During motorcycle engine rebuilding, pistons and piston rings get replaced. Removing and installing piston rings is part of engine work. Modern motorcycle piston rings can be thin or thicker. These rings are often smaller in diameter than automotive and light truck pistons. Surprising to some, an 883cc Harley-Davidson Evolution Sportster's piston bore is only 3 inches in diameter. Using this Honda XR650R single cylinder thumper as an example, the piston and cylinder bore are quite large, at 3.94 inch diameter. The piston is nearly the same size as a 60s Corvette or Chevrolet 327V8. The stroke is actually the same as a 327 at 3.25 inches. The piston rings, however, are much thinner than the 327V8 rings. These worn Honda rings are in the 1.25 mm to 2 mm thickness range. Thin steel rings like this are now popular for performance automotive engines. By the 60s, piston ring expander tools, first patented in 1935 by Seal Power Corporation, were popular and widely used on automotive and truck applications. Some mechanics, active at the trade since the Depression era, removed and installed rings on the pistons by hand. As a professional light and medium-duty truck mechanic during the later muscle car era, my hobby interests had me working around race crews and performance engine builders. During my career as an automotive mechanic, journalist, author, and instructor, I discussed and demonstrated the use of tools including piston ring expanders and ring compressors. My automotive and motorcycle reference library is four bookcases packed with factory and professional trade manuals. There is a manual for each automobile, truck, or motorcycle I have serviced, owned, or written about. I go by the book. When it comes to motorcycle engine assembly, manufacturer's guidelines vary. This includes how to remove piston rings, install rings, and compress rings during installation. Using the factory manual for this XR650R, Honda suggests hand expanding the thin piston rings without the use of a ring expander tool. Installing the rings can be a reverse approach. The popular climber's manual for this motorcycle also illustrates how to hand remove and install piston rings without the use of an expander tool. Climber does mention that using a ring expander tool is optional. The most important concerns when installing piston rings are not to hyperextend or damage the rings and to protect the piston and ring lands. A ring expander tool requires opening the piston ring enough to drop the ring over the piston. Cast and steel rings can break or become sprung by misusing a ring expander. Often, and especially in the case of thin, modern motorcycle and automotive piston rings, we can remove and install the rings by hand with far less stress and ring distortion if we do not use a ring expander tool. In particular, steel rings and oil expander rails are resilient. They behave like spring steel. With 57 years as a trade professional and working alongside professional engine builders, I am proficient at hand removing and installing piston rings. In this demonstration, I will share my method for installing piston rings by hand without damaging the rings or piston. I will also share how to use a ring expander tool effectively, applying the least amount of stress to the piston rings and piston. This is the original XR650R piston with its worn ring still installed. My XR650R top engine rebuild includes a new piston, pin clips, and rings. These worn rings are especially prone to breaking, whether hand removed or removed with a piston ring expander tool. Using your fingers instead of a ring expander tool, you will feel the tension applied and resistance. You'll be able to minimize the degree of twist. With care, the rings can be removed and installed without breaking or distorting them. A goal when removing or installing piston rings is to minimize the stretch on the rings. To do this effectively, visualize the rings inside diameter. The piston has a fixed diameter. The rings are flexible to a degree. When removing the rings or installing them, I keep each ring's inside diameter as close to its original size as practical. This places the least amount of stress on the ring 
and reduces the chance of breaking or distorting it. Following the piston ring installation method illustrated and described in the Honda XR650R factory shop manual, you can hook the ring in the ring groove to protect the piston's ring lands as the ring enters the groove. Once started in the groove, the ring's radius and diameter will stay smaller. There will be less stretch and stress as the ring drops over the piston crown. Aside from the risk of breakage, an overly expanded piston ring can be awkwardly distorted. Compared to out of the box, after installation on the piston, a hyperextended ring can wind up with a wide gap and bigger radius or diameter. This is especially true when using the typical piston ring expander. If the ring is not damaged, the piston ring compressor will close that gap during installation in the cylinder. Even though the rings will still compress and offer good service once installed, it will be difficult to keep the rings centered in their grooves while installing the ring compressor. When hand-feeding rings into a chamfered motorcycle cylinder barrel, it is even more difficult to compress the distorted rings with your fingers and keep the rings in their grooves. Another concern when installing rings is scratching the piston. The square ends of the ring are sharp. Rings are hard material. Alloy pistons are comparatively soft. When moving the ring's end down the side of the piston during installation, I hold the ring end slightly away from the piston to prevent scratching the piston surface. My goal is to keep the ring's diameter as small as possible during this process. An effective way to do this during hand installation is to place one ring end in the piston groove and holding it there with a thumb. Carefully work the ring into the groove while expanding the opposite or open end of the ring just enough to allow the piston ring to slide into the groove. The open end remains above the piston crown as long as possible during this process. The piston ring twists some, but is under far less stress than expanding the ring with an expander tool. Most expander tools can only install a ring by making the ring's inside diameter as wide as the piston's crown diameter. Especially in the case of these thin steel Honda motorcycle rings, the slight torsional twist will not affect the ring. Each ring will spring back to flat as the ring fits into the groove. Traditional cast iron rings are more vulnerable to breaking, the hand installation method actually minimizes the amount of stress and distortion. Watch how I keep the radius of the ring, the ring's inside diameter, as small as possible. This radius is way smaller than a ring stretched out by a piston ring expander. If the piston ring must move far down the side of the piston, I will walk the oil expander rails or a lower compression ring down the piston. The ring or expander rail gets installed in the top compression ring groove. I then move the oil expander rail or lower compression ring down to the lower compression ring groove, and from the lower compression ring groove, I move it down to the oil expander groove. This keeps ring twist and expansion to a minimum. Keep in mind the whole time that the root of the piston's ring groove is a smaller diameter than the piston's outside diameter. I take advantage of this by hand feeding the piston ring into the groove as the ring drops into place. This minimizes the radius of the stretch, which I always make the goal. Minimize distortion and twist and use care not to scratch the piston with the ring ends. This way, the ring goes into place with the least amount of stretch or risk of distortion. Then there is the use of a ring expander tool, which has its place. Some motorcycle manufacturers and ring makers recommend the use of an expander tool, typically for thicker piston rings. Harley-Davidson is among those motorcycle manufacturers. Refer to your factory workshop manual for recommendations. If you have limited or no experience with an expander tool, practice on an old piston and rings before installing new rings on a piston. Among my concerns about using a ring expander is the lack of feel for the pressure being applied to the ring. Avoid overstretching the rings and distorting or breaking a ring. Get a sense for how to apply the least amount of force. Constantly keep the expander diameter of the ring as small as practical. Spread the ring just enough to get the job done. As for the type of expander tool to use, I have my preferences. 
There are tools with wedge-shaped troughs to capture the ring ends. The tool with flat, smooth faces will not mar or chip the ring ends. The jaws simply fit between the ring ends. There are also ring expanders that support the outer shape of the ring, which can be useful for larger diameter, thicker rings. Here I am using a ring expander for universal use. For your tool choice, ring expanders are available from Lyle, OTC, and many other brands. When spreading a ring with an expander, you want to keep the ring on a level plane and not allow it to shift out of alignment. This tool, by design, helps keep the ring flat. Again, the goal is to minimize distortion or stretch. Keep the ring at its smallest practical diameter during the installation and removal process. It is easy to use a flat-faced or side-grip ring expander. When using an expander with wedge-shaped troughs, the ring ends can chip, or the ring's face coating can be damaged at the ring ends. Many use these wedge trough expanders without an issue. It's a personal choice. Whether you use a ring expander tool or install the rings by hand, be aware that used worn rings are often very sharp. When removing old rings, wear protective gloves if edges of a worn square edge ring can cut like a razor. Handle used rings with care. I am not telling anyone what to do. I'm sharing what has worked for me in professional settings. My approach is consistent with factory service manuals and the piston ring guidelines from ring manufacturers. If you are uncomfortable with hand removal and installation of piston rings, the ring expander is an option for specific diameter and thickness piston rings. Ring manufacturers often have their own recommendations and guidelines for installing the new rings. Ring material ranges from cast iron to spring-like steel. Coated faces are common on modern rings. Molly and chrome rings each have their place. Be careful with molly rings. Avoid damaging the edges that must seal against the cylinder wall. Follow the guidelines in your motorcycle's factory shop manual. Read the instructions included with the new piston rings. Follow the ring and engine manufacturer's recommendations for positioning the compression rings, oil expanders, and expander side rails on the piston. Hold these ring positions while installing the piston in the cylinder. This is important for good ring seal and a lasting piston ring installation.